to the channel. I hope you all had a great week. I am seeing the comments roll in on the giveaway video. And for the new subscribers who have not commented yet, go ahead and do so on this video so you can be entered to win a Ledger Nano X. I know some of you are probably wondering, why are you doing this? Why? What's the reason? I'm doing this to reach out to the new people in the crypto space and also the experienced. I know that psychologically, if you are not already invested in this space, you may pay a little bit more attention if you have skin in the game. That's why I'm doing this giveaway. That's why I have my community. And that's why I continue to spread information. If you are new here and not subscribed and some of that is your cup of tea, go ahead and click the like, click the subscribe, and also hit the bell so you can get notified every time I come on the net. Also follow me on Twitter for daily posts and news updates. Now, as the thumbnail posts and states, today I'll be talking about HBAR, Hedera Hashgraph. Hedera Hgraph Bar has a lot of names and a lot of projects going on with it. So today we'll be doing a brief overview on the HBAR project. So let's get to it. Now this coin has recently been on my watch list and the reason why I choose coins like this and projects like this on my watch list is because they offer enterprise size or enterprise grade services that leverages distributed ledger technology and also what these enterprises are looking for to speed up and make their project services or business services more efficient. And a piece of news recently came out that validated the reason why I'm, I am in these coins. And hopefully it validates a reason for you to add these to your watch list is that the federal chair, Jerome Powell, acknowledges that private cryptocurrencies, private projects will also serve at the same table next to CBDCs. And the only reason why this was relevant to me is because I thought the government would try to step on private currencies and push them out of the way, rendering them useless in my portfolio. But that is no longer the case. At first, they did have that tone. They said private currencies had no place at the table at the same time as CBDCs because they would take over. But it looks like they changed their tone and they will serve at the same table. They will have a use case and that use case would be enterprise size services. I'm going to be explaining why and how they can use it applying to enterprise size services, whether that's gaming, healthcare, data, delivery, or tokenizing specific assets. Hopefully you guys can get the same validated feeling that I get from these enterprise size projects that I do. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the white paper per usual. Now, what is Hedera Hashgraph? Hedera Hashgraph is a third generation public blockchain ledger that follows the footsteps of its predecessors like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And it also follows the footsteps of the third generation layer ones that we have today. So like Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, Polkadot, all of these projects have enterprise size mission statements. They all want to apply to the same thing, but their goals are still slightly different. I have not seen that HBAR would like to partner with a country as Cardano did, but I still see value in their blockchain and technology. And I will show you here why in a second. The Hedera Hashgraph platform is pretty much they, everyone says it's faster, more secure than a regular blockchain because their technology is different. Their technology uses Hashgraph, uses, yeah, uses, uses Hashgraph technology. All right, now I wanted to bring your attention to a few passages just so we can see what the foundation of Hedera Hashgraph is. So as you can see the highlighted beginning, our read ahead, the Hedera network is a distributed ledger platform that resolves the factors that constrain the adoption of public distributed ledger technology by the mainstream. And those five pillars are performance, security, governance, stability, and regulatory compliance. Now, if you guys have not watched my last two videos, 
I did cover the fact that Hedera Hashgraph was partnered with the Linux Foundation. And what the Linux Foundation is, is basically a breeding ground for companies that want to gain exposure to enterprise sized companies. So LG, Google, Amazon, all of those big companies have a lot of capital behind them. And with Hedera Hashgraph being a part of the Linux Foundation, I highly doubt they will find short of any funds to develop any project they want to in the future, which is another reason why I'm bullish. But we'll get to the projects and partnerships towards the end. Now, here is HBAR's bread and butter. This is the reason why they can scale so much faster than a traditional blockchain. Now, reading on here, the Hashgraph data structure and consensus algorithm provides a new platform for distributed consensus. The introduction gives an overflow overview of how Hashgraph works and some of its properties. The goal of the dis distributed consensus algorithm is to allow a community of users to come to an agreement on the order in which some of the users generated transactions. Now, when you think about the traditional blockchain, it was structured like this. It was structured like this. Now with Hedera Hashgraph, this is how their blockchain is structured. And with this, the reason why it's so beneficial is because each node can reference a piece of information and every node knows when that node got that piece of information and from who and at what time. So transactions and timestamps and knowing when an order got put in first, that's very beneficial because each node knows and can trust that, okay, this transaction and or user goes first. With blockchain, the only thing that the nodes in front of the initial node knew was I got this piece of information from the node before me. And while we as individuals trust blockchain, the nodes can't really trust each other because they reference the previous nodes information to be true which I don't think it's a problem. The only problem with that is it makes it a bit slower. Hedera's hash graphs uh, blockchain model here allows for extremely faster scalability, which is what the people want. Now, here is the home page for the HBAR project. We talked about who is HBAR, what do they do, what foundation do they stand on and what does the technology bring? So now we get to talk about the use cases. Since it is a proof of stake coin based off of the ERC-20 standard, and with that ERC-20 token standard, it comes with the basic responsibilities of token, which is network fuel and network protection. The more you stake, the more secure the network. This is why they rely on enterprise size services to do the staking for them, which kind of hikes up the staking equipment requirements, but we'll get to that in a bit. But right now, let's talk about the use cases. So with the Hedera network use cases, you can apply them to payments of an enterprise size service. You can tokenize assets within these enterprise size services, identity, permission blockchain use cases, which you can create a private ledger, or with public trust, I'll be putting this on the screen as well, data compliance, fraud mitigation, and much more. And this just reminds me of the other strong L1 projects that we have, but I just think it is very valuable to put this one in your watch list as well. Because as we think of it today, we have multiple payment services that span all over the world, and these are only for payments. With Hedera Hashgraph, you can use it for more than just payments. Visa and MasterCard has existed in the same world, processing over billions of dollars in transactions. So I can definitely see a future where Hedera Hashgraph, Cardano, Solana is doing the same thing for individual enterprises because they have their own preferences. Like I said, all of these layer one third generation coins are the same, but their mission is, you know, somewhat different. Cardano is reaching outside of countries and trying to partner with countries themselves. And it looks like Hedera Hashgraph is strictly focused on enterprise services, gaming, and they have their super fast, super speed blockchain structure to back it up. Now, looking at the gaming portion of 
their use case. Let's read the bottom here. So Hedera brings speed, trust, and fairness when recording in-game events, such as scoring and player status and creating or transferring digital assets to enable the next generation of online play. So with the last sentence, that idea and business model is not there yet. But for gaming companies that, you know, are born from the ashes of the crypto space, I could definitely see them leveraging the Hedera Hashgraph technology in the future. And this tab will definitely play a role which is why I'm so bullish on this project. I can apply them to almost anything, any use case. Also with proof of stake on this coin, it's not only used for fuel and security, it is also used for consensus voting. Due to the fact that their main target is enterprise nodes, so you would have LG, Google, and I'll show you their governing members in a bit. And the governing members are entities who already hold a node somewhere in the world now let's talk about proxy staking on Hedera Hashgraph, which is not yet live. I checked their roadmap. I did not see an estimate of when proxy staking would be live. So the only way right now to make money with the HBAR token is to find an outside exchange that provides you interest on your lended tokens, or you can run a note. But with running a node on Hedera Hashgraph comes great effort. So I pulled up the node requirements here and I'll just read over a few of them. You need 1600 minimum watts of power, 48 core dual processor or CPU. You need two 240 gigabit solid state drives with one RAID for OS storage. And the only reason why I know about the RAID system is because I took uh, Security Plus a long time ago. And these are definitely for enterprise size storage uh, solutions. So if you want to run a node on Hedera Hashgraph, you better bring the capital. And here we have Hedera's governing council. As you can see, we have some pretty big names here. We have Google, IBM, Boeing, DBS, which I believe, I think it's a company in uh, Germany. Not too sure. I remember seeing it somewhere. And we also have LG. So you know there is no games being played when it comes to the amount of capital and being a node provider. They want the experience, they want the money, and they also want the distributed regions. So they've reached out to lots of large companies all around the world to secure their network by running a node. And just to get our point across, going to read this passage over here, Hedera is the most used enterprise grade public network for you to make your digital world exactly as it should be yours. So it, it just confirms the fact that they really want their open source technology to be used by other enterprise grade services, which is not a bad target audience. Um, I think they definitely have the means and capability to do it as they already have uh, cornered a large scale of the market with Google, IBM and LG, very huge partners. Now here they go on to their somewhat of the tokenomics. And I'll just breeze over this, but I will go more in depth towards the end of the video. 10,000 transactions per second. I'm not even going to compare Bitcoin and Ethereum because that's, it's not even fair. I don't know why people always do this to make their blockchain seem better. It is literally the first generation. Congratulations. You beat grandpa. Um, their transaction fee, a fraction of a penny. Love to see it. What else do they have? Uh, three to five second transaction finality. Pretty good. Impressive with their Hashgraph protocol. And with the Hedera token service, you can generate your own token to tokens, tokens for whatever use you want in your company, whether you want to create some kind of non fungible token in a gaming company to issue your own assets in a video game. It's pretty neat. I love to see it and their consensus service, which is built directly on Hashgraph, create a scalable and publicly verifiable timestamps and ordering of events for any application. 
So remember, as we spoke of before, their consensus ordering algorithm allows for the correct users and correct timestamps to be referenced of who put in first, who did this, who did that. And that's just an achievement I see they keep pushing throughout their website. And that is pretty much it for the token and its technology. Now I'm just going to skim over the news, who are they partnered with, and what you know they could possibly have coming in the future. Now here is their Hedera news tab. And I did not actually know this before looking into the project, but Neuron leverages the Hedera network for drone radar system in UK government sponsored trial. I see this as a really big win because when you apply these kind of services to governments, they are willing to pay top dollar for the most late and latest and greatest technology. And that's a fact for almost every country. Defense spending, military spending is almost the highest in the United States and every other country that you can search. Now looking up the next bit of news, Shinhan Bank to conduct Stablecoin International Remittance POC proof of concept on Hedera Network in partnership with major multinational bank. And lastly, the Hedera service now um, to enable cross-organizational digital workflows. So not only do you make your internal workflows more efficient, but you synchronize the data and efficiency between multiple organizations, which is nice. A couple other pieces that I want to hit is that we already know that Hedera Hashgraph is partnered with Chainlink. We also know that Hedera Hashgraph is a member of the Linux Foundation. They are also a governing member, a general member of Hyperledger. And we already talked about what the Linux Foundation is, but we did not speak about Hyperledger. But Hyperledger is basically a collaborative effort for all developers who are interested in the space, um, who want to promote the use of blockchain-based decentralized ledgers or distributed ledgers. Now here we have the top 10 Hedera Hashgraph dApps. I personally have not heard much from any company that's built on top of Hedera, so I assume that they're still within development but just to gloss over a few here, Sagewise, Hero FM, which I think would be a direct competitor to Audius since they are a music or well, a decentralized music streaming platform. Alto, Carbon, which aims to facilitate a price stable cryptocurrency to create an inclusive and efficient global economy. So I think this would be in direct competition, a competition to Cody the stablecoin uh, in DJED that's going to be launched on the Cardano ecosystem. So it'll be good to see who um, is going to beat the race to the cake. Cake is in partnerships and money. CryptoTask, Arbit, Red Swan, Mingo. Yeah, I haven't heard too much from these, but I will definitely keep an eye on them since they are now. Well, since the, the HBAR project is on my radar, it will definitely be of my best interest and I'll bring that news to you guys as well as long as you stay tuned. And lastly, the partnership I wanted to bring up, well not partnership, but a huge development in the making is Access, Metaverse being built on top of Hedera Hashgraph. A lot of people didn't put two and two together because they don't really advertise that they're built on Hedera Hashgraph or their website. Now they do have a Gen Zero membership that has already sold out. So this project is highly anticipated. I was able to buy with what, like 15 to 20 Metacores left. So I just wanted to see what this project was all about. And I bought into it, uh, the Axis Metaverse and people are really excited for it. You know, and the frequently asked questions, why did you build Axis on Hedera Hashgraph? And of course, just like how I explained to you guys, it's faster, more scalable, and they're also alongside an industry leading enterprise governance model. So why not? They're the biggest one to do the enterprise grade services. So we'll see in the future if that still holds true. And here we have Hedera Hashgraph on coin market cap sitting at 28 cents up on BTC, up on ETH, just barely. And just to discuss a few of the tokenomics here, the total supply, 50 billion. 
this is half of XRP's max supply. And XRP is currently sitting at uh, 78 cents. So I think with the proper adoption, we will definitely see, easily see, a dollar's worth of Hedera Hashgraph. And if you guys do not know, the current way to speculate on the market cap is just multiply the circulating supply, which is 18 billion, versus the projected price. So if you want to see what Hedera Hashgraph's market cap would look like at $1, just go ahead and multiply this 18 billion over here by $1, and you will get the approximate market cap. I've seen this token at 19 cents, but I still, I didn't finish my research in time to purchase it at a price that I wanted to, but like I said, it is on my radar. That is it, everyone. I thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this video, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. Share it with a friend, share it with a family member. Do with what you will. I just hope it provided some value to you. If you want to be eligible for the Ledger Nano X giveaway, go ahead and comment on this video right here. Comment anything you want. Comment what your favorite project is, what you do on the daily, what your hobby is, or what you feel comfortable with telling me. I just want to start a conversation. Have a great day. I will catch you on the next one.